Hi everybody, I'm Shah. Welcome to the channel and this is your reading for Monday the 24th. You can either choose the Lenamon or you can choose the Tarot. And or you can choose both of them. So, um, well you know the same rigmarole, if you see a little circle just up here, then click on it and it will take you to charliesangeltarot.com, my website, and have a scout around. There will be updates this weekend, I think, or in the, during the week. Um, you can also find more information just below this video in the description box. And please, if you're not a member, subscribe just down there. Hit the subscription uh, button and uh, the bell. Then you will be notified when I go live. And it is awesome. I'm busy doing the romance readings. So if you want to listen to the romance readings, then stay, uh, become subscribe and hit the bell. Then you will be uh, held in. You'll be notified. Sorry about my English. Um, I've done three days of videos now, and it's I, I'm, I can notice it by the way I speak. I'm sorry if I speak a little bit quick. So I'm trying to slow down. And it's lovely to see you here again and thank you very much to my cyber angels for their support and reactions and their soup chats. It makes me really grateful and it spurs me on and it motivates me to carry on. Okay, let's start with Capricorn. Capricorn, you've got the clover, so luck is on your side. And look at this, you've got the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups means celebrations. You might be celebrating or you might be invited to a celebration. It could be a birthday, a wedding, an engagement party. Now we're going on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you've got the sun. Wow. Aquarius, that means that you're in the spotlight and something has been illuminated. Uh, with regard to a question or a situation, you need more information. Uh, Leo might have an eye on you as Leo is uh, the sun represents Leo or anybody else. Don't exclude anybody else. It could be an employer keeping an eye on you and thinking the world of you. So you might even expect an, um, a, a rise or a promotion. You might be moving home or going on holiday or planning a holiday. You might be hearing of a birth. This could be of a child or a, a new project. Okay, now we're going to, oh yeah, sorry, no, we're not going, we're still with Aquarius. And you've got the page of bows, and that means the page of ones. You will, could be receiving, you will be receiving news, but it could be about a job, like I said. Action stands for job, and creation stands for hobby. But it could be a new passion. You could get news from a a potential lover. Hmm, nice. Okay, now we're going to Pisces and you've got the messenger. The messenger means that you're going to get news as well. In the old days, a rider brought news and a, could be also a visitor or you might be visiting somebody. And for your tarot card, you've got the six of bows. Oh, so no, six of uh, arrows. So that's the Six of Swords. You might be moving home, going on holiday, or moving away from troubled waters, rough waters, going into a quieter phase. You might even be crossing water by driving over a, bitch, a bridge, uh, for example. Now we're going on to Aries, and you've got the heart. Well, I'm glad to see that, because your romance reading was really a wake up call and I hope you're doing something with it. Uh, all my best wishes and strength and I do wish you both good luck. It's only the energy that's around you so it's only to make you aware of things okay. On Monday you uh, might meet a, a, a new love or you might uh, uh, do something that you love or that you're passionate about. So perhaps your passion might become your love. That is good news. 
that is if you want it. And you've got the stag, and the stag is strength number eight. And you do know that being patient and love, love heals everything and patience as well. Um, if you are in a tough time, then have patience and seek advice and it will be all right. Now we're going on to Taurus. Taurus, you have the anchor and anchor means yes. You're coming home to a safe haven and you're staying there because you've anchored yourself there. Wow. This card always reminds me of that charm, the heart, the cross and the anchor, hope, faith and love. So definitely there is a lot of love and nurturing for you. Okay, and you've got the six of cups, the six of vessels. This is my give and take card because if you're, um, what's the word? Um, not well, uh, I always forget the word. If you're well off, then you might give to the needy. And if you're needy, then you might be receiving. This could be a helping hand, a gift, or this could be a listening ear, or vice versa. Now we're going to Gemini. Gemini, don't make mountains out of molehills. Or don't make a, uh, from a fly an elephant. You don't have to climb the mountain, you can take the path. In other words, slow down if you need to. If there's no deadlines, just take your time. And don't see everything as an issue or don't make a problem out of everything. Then you've got the tarot card, you've got judgment. You've got judgment. And that is a second chance, a second chance or a new beginning. You can see the ghostly things around him or the aura. Um, but the great bear, it's called the great bear here, is the biggest star. Now we're going on to Gemini, and oh, sorry, Cancer. Cancer, you've got the snake. So be aware of slithery, conniving people. There's a snake in the grass. So be careful with signing contracts. Try to avoid signing contracts until after the 14th of March. Uh, because uh, Mercury is retrograde, and then you've got the Seven of Swords. Somebody is being sneaky. Okay, don't trust everybody. Some in the traditional tarot, it's somebody that sneaks away with five swords and leaves something behind, like a broken heart. So, be careful of somebody slithery. Then we go on to Leo. Leo, you have the road. And that's usually a crossroad, but you've got choices to make or decisions. Which road are you going to take? Then you have the world tree, the world. What goes round comes round. There's an end to a phase, a new beginning. Going, um, the world is your oyster. Um, you might be moving home or going on holiday. You might be taking your relationship up to the next level. Or you might be getting a promotion or you, you're going up to the next level in work. Wow. Okay. You are I'm also getting to hear you're well rooted where you are. So if you feel safe, stay. Now we're going on to... Virgo, Virgo, you're cutting away the past. You're leaving the past, the past. And um, uh, just one thing is you are also harvesting. You could not only harvest something material, but you, but you have already harvested life experience and knowledge. And that is what you're taking with you. Okay, you've got the three of arrows of swords. You might have lost something or someone or a pet 
or uh, something that was very dear of you, or a, 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 a relationship or a friendship. It could be anything, but you are upset. Don't worry, my darling, because time will heal. There is plenty of people around you that love you. You might have left something and that you didn't like anymore and it is breaking your heart. You might have left a job that's breaking your heart because you loved the friends but you didn't like the, the work or you didn't like the company. Now we're going on to Libra and Libra, you've got the clouds. This is, um, uh, uh, this card means um, disagreements or arguments, but they're short-lived, so don't worry. The sun will break through. After rain comes sunshine. Then you have the archer. The, the archer is the chariot in this deck. You're moving onwards and upwards. You've got victory. You have victory. Beautiful card, I think. I love these cards. I'm going to get the real ones. They're bigger, I think. And uh, you might be going on holiday or moving home as well. But you've got public recognition because you're the winner. You're, you've got victory. Okay, Libra. Don't worry about the arguments. Okay, Scorpio. You have the wit. And the wit means disagreements and arguments as well. So be careful. Don't give anybody any ammunition to use against you. Your weekly reading was beautiful. And you are going into a better phase and so is Sagittarius. So don't worry. Just walk away from vampire, energy vampires. They'll drain you. And you have the King of Arrows. And that's the King of Swords. Justice will be done. Justice will be done. This could be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. They could be helping you getting clarity or justice done because they stand for honesty, wisdom and communication. It could be your social worker uh, defending you or it could be an advocate or a jurist or a lawyer. So there will not be and you will not give anybody an argument because you will get clarity and justice. Okay, you will get what you deserve and so will they. Um, but you could be meeting one of the air signs, like I said. And now we're going to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you've got the key. Okay, perhaps that's clearer. That's the key. You've got the key in your hand. You can open the door to positivity or close the door to negativity. You have the power, so use it wisely. Then you have the moon of water, so that's the moon card. There are things that you don't know. So don't, and that's what I'm hearing, don't believe everything you hear. You might need to do more research because you, uh, there is the dark side of the moon. So there are things that you don't know. Um, so you might need to do more research with regards to an issue or a question or a situation at hand. Um, you could be meeting a, a, a Pisces, but don't exclude a Cancer or a Scorpio. But the moon does stand for Pisces. Your emotions might be heightened because it's Mercury retrograde as well. So you are extra, extra sensitive emotionally or spiritually, psychically or intuitively. So, um, and your faith might be, um, your faith, your faith might be tested. So be careful. Don't believe everything you hear. And the moon is a spotlight, so you are in the spotlight, you are being noticed, you are following the right path, because the moon shines light on your path. Just keep on following this path. 
I hope you've enjoyed all the readings. If it doesn't resonate with you, look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Take care, my darlings, and please like and subscribe and share with family and friends. Thank you very much.